The story started by showing a girl. Who is the main character of the story? Her name is Esther. Esther belongs to this Jewish family. This is their religion. She was thinking about something. And then she packed her things and came out of the room. She went to where some Jewish women were standing. Today was their festival. So everyone wishes Esther too. She came back to the room. Kept all her belongings, even the phone on the bed. And took her grandmother's photo and came out of the house. A woman asked her, Esther, where are you going? She replied, mother in law's house? That is, her husband's mother's house. The woman said with surprise, mother-in-law's house is on that side. Why are you going on this side? Esther runs away without saying anything. Till now, we know that Esther is married. So now we see her husband, whose name was Yankee. He also came to his mom's house for dinner. His mom told him that Esther has not come yet. Hearing that, even Yankee was surprised. Why she had not come yet? Then his mother started getting angry. That she always comes late like this. Today, I don't know where this girl would have gone. Whereas Esther ran away to her piano teacher's house. Actually, Esther was about to run away. Her teacher is helping her in all this. The teacher gives her a passport and a gift. Esther becomes very emotional and hugs her. Then leaves from there by car and quickly reaches the airport. Because she was going to Berlin. Now, why did she leave the house? We will know the answer later. Yankee came home looking for Esther. And found out that she had left the house. The next morning he told his mother that she had gone. Yankee's mom got very angry and said, I don't know where she would have gone. Yankee says, Mom, I think she is not happy with me. Since she has left me, Mom says, but we have not asked her for anything till date. She should not do this. Esther reached Berlin, came to a house, and rings the doorbell, but when no one opens the door, she sits on the stairs and starts remembering her past, that her dad always used to drink alcohol on festival days which no one liked, but he didn't care about this. Now the story shows the past and the present time again and again. Sometimes we'll go to the past and sometimes we'll return in the present. No, the story comes back in the present times. Esther opens the gift given by her teacher, which was a compass which helps in telling the path, etc. Seeing which she became very happy. Then she sees her mother in front of her because she had come to Berlin only to be with her mother. But when, when she saw him with a woman, she did not go near her at the moment. Esther's family was wondering where she could go suddenly. While she was roaming in the streets of Berlin, she was considering herself free because she was in such an environment where women were kept in a kind of prison. That is, they were not allowed to do anything. They did not have as much freedom as men have. She went to a coffee shop and saw a boy is having problem in picking up cups of coffee. So she asks, can I help you? To which she also says, yes. She takes coffee with the boy and comes to a music school. Because this boy was a musician. Esther also met the musician boys group. And when she watches their performance. When they were playing music. Esther got emotional and she had tears in her eyes. Because she was also very fond of learning music from the start. But her family obviously had a lot of strictness. So Jewish girls were allowed to learn music. The story again came to the past. Where Esther came to Yankee's house with her family because today their marriage was to be discussed. When Esther and Yankee both meet, she also tells him that she likes music very much, on which Yankee clearly refused that. Girls should not learn music. This made Esther feel bad. But because Yankee was very good at heart, she liked him and agreed to marry him. Presently, Esther is still a with the musician. They were going to the beach to enjoy the beach. They took Esther along with them, who soon mingled with everyone. On the beach, she saw that everyone was enjoying a lot. So she also went into the water with freedom. She felt very good. Because for the first time, she was living openly on her own. She also removed her wig. Because she had short hair. In fact, the Jewish people cut girls' hair after marriage. Esther's hair was also cut. And she had to wear a wig until her hair grew. Esther says that I will remain the way I am. I will not change myself from now on. While Yankee was at home. He gets the address of Esther's piano teacher. When Yankee and his brother go there, she also says that Esther never came here. He then checks Esther's phone in which there was a voice message, which Esther had sent to her mom. Yankee comes to know that Esther is going to be a mom. He is very surprised and happy too. He tells this to his family as well. His elder sister tells Yankee that the child is the heir of this house. So you will have to bring Esther back by any means. That is why he goes to Berlin with his brother. On the other hand, Esther had no place to go at the moment. 
so obviously she had no place to sleep. That is why she quietly entered the music school. She went into a room and slept on the floor nearby. In the past, the time was shown. When Esther was about to get married, Esther's mother came to meet her. But she was very angry with her mother because she had left their family in her childhood. Esther was taken to a separate room by her grandmother, who explained that her new life is about to start. Then she also called a woman so that she can explain to Esther. The woman explains everything to her. That how can you become a good wife after marriage? Also, you should know all the rituals of the Jews. Because the culture and customs of the Jewish people are quite orthodox. They are strange in a different way. Which is made only for special women. On which these people have to follow in every situation. In the present, Esther wakes up after her sleep. When she started leaving the music school, the children's voices start coming. With which a woman sees Esther there. She is quite surprised as to what she is doing here. She immediately goes and informs the school principal about this. When she comes here, Esther says that sorry. I made a mistake that I slept here. It will not happen again. She started leaving from here. But the principal took Esther with him to a hotel. He understood that something very bad must have happened with Esther. That is why he says that if you are fond of music or want to do something in your life, then you are getting a chance to get a school scholarship. A program is being organized in our school for the destitute people in which the winning children are chances of getting a scholarship. If you want, you can fill the form for that program. On this, Esther also says, Okay, sir, I will tell you after thinking about it. Yankee and his brother reach Berlin in search of Esther. In the morning, when they were in the rooms of the hotel, Yankee's brother took out his things, in which Yankee found a strange box. When he opened it and checked, there was a gun inside. Seeing which he got very scared. Oh my God, he has brought this with him. What if he kills someone? Esther comes to the music school to fill the form for a special program. But she did not write anything in place of the address. The receptionist sees her and says, Daughter, you did not put anything in the address. This is necessary. So Esther puts the address of her mother's house. Because she had no place of her own here. Yankee and his brother go to her mom's house to look for Esther. But she tells them from inside that she did not come here and closes the door on their faces and goes inside. She started telling her friend that, I feel sorry for my daughter Esther, because she got married at a very young age. And from here the scene from the past is shown. When Esther is getting married, everyone was very happy, because this is a big day for Esther. Presently, Esther came to the music school, where other students were practicing music. When a girl saw that Esther also took part in the music program, she started making fun of her saying that their Jewish people are very orthodox. They do not give any kind of freedom to women. All the freedom is only for men. According to them, woman is just a thing kept inside the house, and she is just for giving birth to children. Hearing this, Esther she got very angry and said, Stop your nonsense. I am not the one who can give birth to a child, you understand. I will also do this music program, you'll see. After which everyone starts practicing music together. And now at the passage of time, Esther befriends them. She goes to the house of a friend of the musician boy, where everyone starts liking her very much and becomes close friends. In the past, when Esther got married, her hair was being cut and the poor girl starts crying very sad. Her grief clearly showed how much she loved her hair. But even now she cannot stop them. Whereas in the present, Yankee and his brother were constantly trying to find Esther, who was still with her friends. She happily says that I have full hope that I will win the scholarship program. Now seeing her so much confidence in herself, her friends say that at least show us how to play the piano. Let us also see how you play it in front of them. She starts playing the piano, but her method is very old. Seeing that the same girl says that we work so hard, practice and play the piano so well. Still, we are not sure whether we will win or not. But you are playing with so old style, and yet you are so confident. Seeing your style, I feel that you will not be able to win this program in the next 10 programs. Hearing this, she became very sad and immediately got up and came out of there. She calls her grandmother crying and says, Grandma, I don't understand what to do now. It was shown in the past that Esther had been married for a long time, but she did not have a child, due to which Yankee's mother puts a lot of pressure on her for the child. And the poor girl silently just listens. In the present, Esther came to the doctor to get herself checked because she was pregnant and her child was about to be born. 
she decides that now she will spend the rest of her life with this child. Yankee and his brother came to a bar, where he told a woman that maybe my wife is not happy with me. What should I do for her happiness? Then the woman told that you should help her in every situation. Support her and give her everything what she needs. In the past, when Esther is repeatedly pressured to have a child, she feels bad. In the present, Yankee goes to Esther's mom's house and gives her his number and says, If you come to know Esther, tell me immediately. But Yankee's brother doubts Esther's mom, that she has definitely hid her somewhere and is hiding it from us. So one day, he secretly entered Esther's mom's house. And when he was searching there, he finds Esther's music program forms, which the postman had kept here. Because Esther had given the address here, that's why. So Esther comes to a music club with her friends. In the meantime, she starts dating a musician boy, who had now become her friend. Yankee's brother also reached this club through those forms. And now he also sees Esther here. As proof, he makes some pictures of Esther to show Yankee. There were the same pictures, in which Esther was standing very close to her friend. In the past, the day was shown, when Esther had come to Yankee's mother's house for dinner. All these women started taunting her for not having a child, on which she got angry and went away from there to her house. She comes to the bathroom and when she does the test, she finds out that she is pregnant. She becomes very happy with this news. She thinks that when Yankee comes home, I will be the first one to tell him this news. He'll also become happy. With this happiness, she started waiting for Yankee's arrival. After some time, Yankee came home. She was about to tell him the news about the child. When Yankee asks her why she came here from mom's house, he got angry at Esther. First, we are not having a child. Second, you went away from the dinner table. Do you know how insulted you have been? Listen to me with open ears. If things continue like this, I will divorce you. This fight had increased too much. Hearing about divorce from Yankee's mouth, Esther's heart breaks completely. She never thought that Yankee would talk to me like this. She became very sad because she was doing all this for Yankee only. So Esther also got angry with his behavior. She decided in her heart that now I will not do anything for anyone. I will live a free life for myself. I will run away. Because it would be better to run away. Anyway here no one cares about me. In the present, Yankee's brother comes back. And shows him the pictures of Esther in the club. When Yankee sees that she is with another boy. He becomes very sad. He runs away to Esther's mom's house. And asks her where have you kept her hidden. Please tell me. That day I was angry and talked to her about divorce. And she left the house. It's nothing like that. I love her very much. Now I am very sad. I have seen her with another boy. Then Esther's mom also tells Yankee that. You could never understand her heart what she wanted from you. And what you were to her. Otherwise she would never have left you. Esther who was going to her friends. Yankee's brother sees her. And he catches her and forces her. And makes her sit into the car. And brings her to a park and starts explaining to her that you are making a big mistake. Do you think you will be able to live alone in this city without any support? It is your mistake, and when you realize your mistake, you will come back crying, but there will be no one to help you at that time. He gives the gun to Esther again, and says keep this with you the day you realize your mistake. Shoot yourself with it, and take your life and die. Saying this, Yankee's brother leaves from there. After which Esther comes to her mother's house, and tells her the whole thing. Both the mother and daughter get emotional and starts crying. Obviously, they met after so long, her mother says. My daughter, don't worry, now I am with you. Esther asks mom angrily. Why did you separate us from some in our childhood? Why did we start living apart from everyone? Then her mom tells her. Neither did your dad like me nor did he like me. That's why we used to fight all the time. I was fed up and divorced your dad. But the court did not give me all your responsibility. But gave it to your dad. Although I wanted my daughter, you should also live with me. All these things of my mother. Esther once again becomes emotional and hugs her tightly. Then the next day her mother prepares Esther for the music program. Because today was Esther's exam. She had to give her performance in front of the judges. Esther goes to the place of the program. All of her friends had come to watch her performance. And even Yankee also reaches here. She tells the judges. That today I will not show you how to play the piano. But today I am going to make you sing. She tells everyone first. How in Jewish religion, we are stopped. We are prohibited from everything. No kind of freedom is given. That is, she was telling all her problems to them. After which she starts singing the song. She sings with a lot of heart. 
She was clearly expressing the pain in her voice. All the difficulties of her life were being expressed through songs. But everyone liked her song very much. Even they got so lost in the song that everyone got emotional. After finishing the song, when all the people come out, Esther sees that Yankee has also come here. He tells her that I have also heard your song. You sang very well. I am very happy. I have made a big mistake in understanding you. Please forgive me. He then gives her a locket of music and says let's go home. On which Esther says no. Now I will not go back. I love this life very much. This freedom is very relaxing. Her husband convinced Esther a lot. He cries and even cuts his hair. Which is considered very important in their culture and religion. But even when her husband tries to stop her, she does not stop. And leaves from there. Because now she had to live her whole life with the freedom. Yankee's brother also tried to stop her. But she pushed him away and moved ahead. She was determined that now she will not live a suffocated life. But will live a life of freedom like the birds live in the open sky. The one who had no restrictions. She had completely embraced this life. No matter what its consequences might have been. And with this, the story ends her.